welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, this week's video is about the top 25 places that I want to travel to. Um, I don't really know when this list kind of came to be about, but it was kind of circling around in my head for a really long time, so I decided to write it all down uh, and kind of form that list of the top 25 places. Uh, this is not in, like, number one, like, when, the first one I say is not, like, the number one or the last. It's just 25 places that are the top that I want to visit. Um, I do not have places on here that I have already visited. Um, so, South Korea and Japan are obviously not on here. I've also been to a bit of Europe, and so those countries aren't on here. So, Italy, France, Germany, Austria... Did I say Italy? Switzerland? And then the UK. Uh, I have been to Paris, but I was only there for like two days. It's still not on my list. I think it's only because I have really bad memories from being in the hospital while I was in Paris. So like, I don't know why, but like, I can't, I can't, I can't move past that just yet. Uh, so Paris is not on my list. At least I don't think it is. I didn't put it on there originally. Whatever. Um, so those places are not on this list because I have already been there. I would love to go back to all of those countries because I had a great time in all of them. Um, and I was younger in most of them. So I want to re-experience them as an older person. But they're not on the top 25 places because these are places that I have never been to. Ever. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and I guess roll on in get started uh so the first one on my list is south africa um just because i've seen so many beautiful pictures um and it just looks absolutely gorgeous and i'd love to uh, i'd love to go on safari and see things and yeah so that's kind of that's why that one's there uh the second one is the philippines um once again there's just such a beautiful like so so many beautiful areas to visit in the philippines um, but I also have some very, very good friends that are from the Philippines, um, and I would love to get to go and visit them. Um, yeah. I also really love, um, Filipino movies. It's nothing to do with why I want to go there, but that's just a tidbit. Uh, the third one on my list is Thailand. Um, I have some friends from Thailand that I would love to be able to visit while I'm over there. Um, but I've learned so much about the culture from my friends, um, and it just seems so beautifully unique, and I love the language. Uh, I could listen to it all day. Um, I'm that creepy friend that sits there and goes, when my friends talk in, in Thai, just because I find it extremely beautiful. Um, so I would love to go and get to, like, immerse myself in that culture. Uh, number four is Singapore. Um, and... I, I don't really know. It's just, it seems, yeah, hold on. <laughs> uh, number four is Singapore. Um, and some of these I don't really have real explanations on why they're on my list or why I want to visit them. Um, but I've just, I've kind of always wanted to. Um, so some of them don't really have descriptions as to like why some of them do. Singapore is one of the ones that doesn't. Uh, number five is Spain. Um, I'm obsessed with the beautiful architecture, like, all over Spain. Uh, if you look at pictures of, like, just of Spain in general, the architecture is so beautiful. Um, and I, I love beautiful old buildings. So Spain is definitely on my list for that. Uh, number six. Is that right? Number six? Six. Uh, is Argentina. Um, that's another one that doesn't really have an explanation. It's just, it's on my list. Uh, number seven is Ireland. Um, and that's because I actually, my namesake comes from Ireland. Uh, apparently, my last name is Irish. You wouldn't suspect it when you hear it. Um, but apparently it, it comes from Ireland and my family crest is an Irish crest. Um, and so I really would love to go and be able to, like, kind of explore a country where I have ancestors from. Uh, the next one is India. Um, just, there, the food is incredible <laughs> from what I've had, so I can only imagine what the food is actually like in India. Um, and they just have such a unique culture. 
but I think it would be really, really cool to put myself in there and actually experience it. Uh, the next one is Israel. Um, it's another one that doesn't really have a real, a real reason. Uh, it's just always been kind of on my mind as a place that I want to travel, so. Uh, the next one is Brazil. Um, I have some friends from Brazil that would probably shoot me for saying that I wanted to go to Brazil um, because they are constantly complaining about how dangerous it is and things like that. Um, but it's kind of, it's still always been on my list of places that I wanted to go. Um, I just, they just need to come and meet me, right? And like, be my bodyguards. Makes perfect sense to me. It'll happen one day. Um, the next one is a specific city in a country, but I really, really want to go to Moscow, Germany. Um, I'd also really like to go to St. Petersburg because of Anastasia. The movie is incredible. I really want to go. Um, but yeah, so those two, those two cities within Russia, I have a reason for St. Petersburg, not really for Moscow. Um, but yeah, the Russia, let's go. Uh, the next one is Vietnam. Um, I have an uncle that was in the Vietnam War and kind of have grown up hearing mixed stories about Vietnam and I have some really amazing friends that are from Vietnam um, and I really want to go and experience it for myself and make my own opinions on Vietnam itself. Um, growing up in the States you kind of it's like a weird mix of like positive things about Vietnam and really negative things so I really want to go and experience it and yeah. Uh, the next one is Costa Rica because it's Costa Rica. Who doesn't want to go to Costa Rica? Uh, the next two cities are within Canada and there's are Calgary and Toronto. I'm actually in the process of planning a trip to Toronto right now if my friend and I can figure out dates. <laughs> um, but Calgary also and Calgary actually is because of a TV show that I watch. Um, it's called Heartland. It's like a horse show. People always seem surprised when I say that I watch a horse show, but I do. It's really good. Um, but Calgary is beautiful. Just watch the show for the scenery, like if you're <laughs> like if anything else. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so I really want to go and experience it and kind of experience the like the mountainous side of Canada. Uh, okay, the next one is Poland, um, and honestly, that one's actually because I have a professor uh, at my university who is from Poland, and yeah, I've gotten to hear so many different stories about the bad times and the good times in Poland, um, and I just really want to go. Uh, okay, we're almost, we're working our way, guys. Uh, the next two places, or well, it's one main island. I really want to go to Bali, which is in Indonesia. Um, so Indonesia as a whole, I'd love to like island hop, but Bali would be like, is like, I guess like my main island of choice, if that makes sense. So yeah. Um, and that's actually because of a YouTuber named Raya was here. Well, her name is Raya, but her YouTube is Raya was here. Um, and she's obsessed with Bali and everything always looks so beautiful. <laughs> um, next is Australia. Um, It's not really like a set reason for that. I've um, watched a bunch of shows that are set in Australia that like are awesome. I watch a lot of YouTubers that are from Australia. Uh, I have friends that are from Australia from kind of like all over different parts. Um, I don't really like bugs, which I hear is a kind of an issue <laughs> in a lot of Australia. We'll see. Um, but it would also be like my dream to spend an extended amount of time in Australia and volunteer um, at the uh, Australia Zoo. So yeah, that'd be like awesome. It'd be like my dream. Uh, the next one is Budapest. Just no reason. Just it's always been on my list. Uh, the next one is Amsterdam, which is similar to Budapest and reasoning. Like there's not really like a main reason. Um, but just as I've grown up, I've seen a lot of pictures of it and really wanted to go. Uh, the next one is Iceland, um, and that is because I actually have family that went to Iceland last summer. Not last summer. They've been to Iceland within the last year. Um, 
and the pictures they posted were gorgeous they absolutely loved it um and they know how much i love travel so they were like that needs to be on your list so it is now uh okay so they're actually i have a state i want to go to alaska it's technically a state of uh, <laughs> but it kind of seems like it's still like a far off country which is cool um but yeah i've always wanted to go to alaska i've also wanted i like ice fishing is weirdly on my like bucket list uh, so so maybe right i don't know uh okay so the next one is denmark specifically copenhagen once again no real reason just always been on my list uh same with the next two uh being turkey and bulgaria i have never i guess i've never, I've never seen a movie or a show or anything Thing, pop culture related to either of those countries uh, I don't have friends from either one I really don't know why they're on my list in the sense of like what brought those countries to like my attention of places I wanted to go but whatever did they've been on my list since uh, and so I still yeah still really want to go to those um, and the last one on my list is Mexico um, just it's always like all the pictures that you see are always so colorful and just it seems to be such a beautifully like a beautiful country that seems to be really underrated in like tourism and like what it has to offer um i feel like a lot of people now kind of think of it as like a rundown country but they still have a lot to offer and i really want to go down there and experience that um so yeah those are the 25 places on my list of places that I want to travel to um, and a little bit of description some of them don't yeah like, like I said earlier some of them don't have real reasoning behind them they've just always been a dream to travel to and so yeah uh, I hope this encourages you guys to make a list of places that you want to travel um, and I have always felt like if I have something written down it makes it more kind of permanent like it makes it more official like this is I want to do this like this is this is my goal um, and when right when I wrote that list of 25 places I kind of like made a goal with myself that before the time I turned 30 I would have been to at least eight of those countries so fingers crossed that I can make it to there I still have eight years um, so I have a country a year maybe um but like yeah i am going to toronto this summer so that takes out that takes out one of them right there so um i wish me luck in crossing off countries from my list uh, and i hope that you guys cross off some countries from your lists uh if you guys have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comments below uh please subscribe to my channel and like this video all of my social media is listed down below come on over to instagram follow me yeah see what i do on a daily basis it's not very interesting but come on over uh i hope you guys have a great day see ya bye